Hey friends, Juan here, welcome back. I'm here about to play the prologue for Rising Hell on Steam. This is a game that is still in early access and first came out on October 2019 and the prologue is free to play, so it's like a demo. I haven't played it, I was suggested this game to a check it out by my great friend Wizard of Gore who knows that I love me some Dead Cells and he said that it's like a vertical version of that. So I'm like, hey, why not play it here with everybody? We can give our live reaction and if you like it, it's like 10 bucks on Steam. I'm not sure what's, uh, what's going to be the regular price once the full game's out. Okay, so we have different classes, I, I guess, or, or perks. At the top it says Warrior Helping. Demonic Hand to Slay Hell Dwellers. Pyrebrand Increases Artifact Weapon Attack Damage. Increases Move Speed and Jump Power. Dash can damage enemies in line. Summons can... Ooh, an M Companion. Okay, I want a companion, so let's go with that one. I'm curious to see how the format's going to be. Jump, attack, interact, dash. Got it. First impression was very positive with the menu. I love the sprite style and the music. Oh, we knocked down some doors. The Bearer of Hellbane also possesses a demonic... Hey, let, hey, Imp, give me a second. I'm reading that. Okay, there's a killing move. Wait, are these good guys or bad guys? I don't think I'm, I'm actually supposed to kill them. Wow, this is going to take some getting used to, though, because with these games, I'm so used to going left and right. Now it's uh, up or down. I got to say, it feels super smooth. Especially the jumping. Okay, so it does have a double jump. And not just that, the double jump... Is it like an uppercut at the same time? Does it damage? Let's see here. Oh, it does. Ooh, we got like a two for one deal. Okay, I gotta say the music is just bad ass. Here's the uh, dash. Just trying out all the buttons first. Can we break this door down? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Man, uh, this game kind of reminds me of... Is, is it Demon's Tilt? It's like a pinfall... Uh, pinfall? <laughs> it's like a pinball! Pinfall! We're not talking about wrestling here. It's a pinball type of game, but... I think the art style kind of reminds me of that and Dead Cells together. What's up with these corpses that are just literally hanging around? Just realized they have a combo meter at the same time. I love the little zoom in. Whenever you get a uh, new thing there. Uh, Necrophil, that word. Resurrects once upon death. Increases green and uh, green soul drop rate by 20%. Every third enemy kills drops. Okay, uh, we have 100. Let's go. Let's go with the one we can get. And, uh, you know, every now and then I do want to do some PC coverage just because it's so hard to know what's out there and still worth playing, right? If it wasn't for Wizard of Gore telling me about this game, there's no way in hell I would have found out about it. Another game that I've been wanting to play eventually is Forgone. It's a whole lot like Dead Cells as well. But I've only seen uh, gameplay clips on their Facebook page. I'm just catching myself listening to the music here. You kind of just want to jam out to it, right? Okay, let's try this uppercut. I like that when he does the uppercut, he takes like a bit, uh, like a bit of a pause and does another attack afterwards. Also, the roar is just satisfying. Okay, we'll we'll have to wait and see what that is. Let me clear out this area first. The trickster's treasury. So it's like an, uh, like a bonus room of sorts. So we have points. Is this like a shop? Are we talking about a shop here? Yep. Okay. Increases your attack damage by 50% for 8 seconds after an artifact weapon energy has been depleted. Uh, no slipping on the wall and allows you to execute Hellbreak on the enemy inside radius. Okay, we can't get any of these if you look at the, uh, the amount that I have. So, not doing too great there. But I love the detail. Look, look at that character. Look at the one... What, what the hell is he holding? I don't know, but... He looks damn cool. Let's continue forward. Or... Upward? Yeah, man. Yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, upward. 
Okay. I like the fact that because it's a vertical base game, the areas are fairly narrow. So it's like a, it's not a bullet hell shooter or anything like that. But I'm assuming as we get more long range enemies, it's just going to be a lot harder because there is that less travel distance. Ooh, okay. Let me try something. Because it does seem like I have a different attack if I press up on the uh, joystick. Okay, let me just try this. So here's just me pressing forward. But then upward. Ooh, check that out. See? He kind of goes up a little bit. I like that. Man, this is a problem, though, because I already have so many games in my backlog. I'm playing this, and it's just like, ooh, this is good. This is good stuff, people. Based on this initial gameplay, is, is this something that would be on your radar right now? Because eventually, I, I will assume this game would come out on Nintendo Switch. Another game I love to do some... Oh, give me a second here. Uh, we have 225, so I can do an upgrade. Increases attack damage. Killed enemy minions explode, dealing damage to nearby enemies. I can't get that. Increases artifact monster spawn rate. Killed enemies have a small chance of dropping. I'm just going to go with the uh, the damage increase. But a game I wanted to talk about is uh, Hades, which I bought day one on the Epic Game Store when it was first announced as an early access game. Ooh, we get two options. I like this. Let's go with Pounder Gallows. Now that game's on, on Switch, and it's selling like crazy, and I'm super happy about that. So I think there's always that incredible potential about games that have been out for early access for over a year, like this game. I mean, when Gore first linked me to it, I was like, oh, okay, so it just came out now for early access. I'm like, wait a minute. It's been out since last year. And it would be interesting to see all the changes. Another game I've also been playing is Gunfire Reborn. I'll definitely do a video on that one. Uh, just like a gameplay session, but that one, I'm not going to be able to do it alone because I feel like the the emphasis of the game is the cooperative component. We have some trapped people here, but can I can I let them out? I don't know. Ooh, okay, okay. There's definitely like a a hint, a pumpkin spice a teaspoon drop of that was a stretch of uh, Super Meat Boy here. Just like a lot of blood. Man, there's another... V Valhalla? V Val... Val... Curia Val... Chronic... Is it Valhalla? Somebody's got to know which game I'm talking about that has this art style because it was Slain. Uh, Slain is another game that reminds me of this. Which is a very difficult game. Which have like metal inst inspired soundtracks, and I love that because some games have a more, you know, fantasy based soundtrack, but I think it's nice to have something that's just pure badass. You're, you end a, a tough day of work and you just want to feel awesome. You pop this game in, you feel good, you feel good, right? Okay, Doombringer, Infernal Claw. That's something I haven't been using, which is the dash. You can't, at least with default, you can't seem to dash forward. You can, uh, upward, I mean. Oh, I haven't done that attack. Uh, increases your attack damage by 25% when you have 50% life or more, which I don't. Every time you collect 100 souls, increases your attack rate. And what's this one? Increases green soul drop rate by 20%. Let's go with that. This feels good, people. This feels damn good. Let's check out Hell's Furnace. And there's like an arcade component to it that is not as prevalent in other games. This one seems to be a little bit more focused on, on your scoring system. For a second, I forgot that I didn't buy this game. I'm like, oh, okay, then after the video, maybe I just keep playing. It's like, wait a minute, I'm playing the prologue. I wonder how long the prologue is. Because right now we've been playing for about nine minutes. And, and I don't think that for a prologue or a demo you need to make it this a very large and extensive thing. Oh, we got a boss here. Ifrit. Okay, so that's a special ability. Wait, did I just do like a lightsaber attack or something? Uh oh. Okay. It is sometimes a little hard to tell where I am because I'm 
If you notice, I'm on the right right now, and I'm about as big as the other enemies, or some of them. Okay, what's that? Ooh. Okay, this ain't looking too good right now. Do we get any health drops? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we're beating this boss in the first run, people. And I think I died. Pretty sure I died. Game over. How does this work? I like how this looks. Oh, that is an awesome looking thing. That should be a pin. Wishlist and played on Steam now. More heroes to play, more realms, and greater demons to conquer. Man, I feel pretty good about this. I feel legitimately uh, positive about this game. I don't know what the gameplay loop is like, if we get some permanent upgrades or not, but that's been a quick look at the prologue for Rising Hell, once again available on Steam for around 10 bucks in early access. I'm not sure what the full price of the game is going to be once it's out officially, but hopefully you like this uh, casual gameplay session, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, give me that thumbs up, and follow me at twitch.tv slash Mr. 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 Player Juan, so we can play some good games and have ourselves a pretty good time. So up until next time, thanks for watching and supporting, and take care, everybody.